All right, so welcome, welcome everyone. We are li live with the Fire Clash League. This one is group stage of week four. We have here EA versus SWAC. SWAC team from South Korea coming in here with the Super Archer Blim against Rigo Base. Uh, totally makes sense coming with the uh, Blim back which can land and near to the town hall as is the, in the central and also can grab a lot of good defenses. But there was the giant bomb. Also we have uh, pulling the CC troops. I think so we are using the archer. So that's very smart play there. Moving the dice golem away from the super archers. That way they are not being slowed down at all. And he was able to take down the town hall. But when I zoom out, the bottom side of the base is like almost gone. Now we are coming in here with the group of the Rude Riders and we will be also using a bunch of super barbs. Actually the Electro Owl is still alive so still can get some value because so far there are no really defenses which gonna be hitting the Electro Owl. Mini Warden will be supporting uh, these Rude Riders. Whoa! Gloomy Star has max level! Giant gauntlet there. Jeez, okay. I'm so jealous. Like, people actually have so many abilities which are max level. How many abilities you can have max without jamming? Like, if you are just, like, warding every time you can, and, of course, winning these wars. Is it still possible to have, like, a bunch of max? Alright, so far so good. Rude Rider is still looking good. We still have three heroes abilities. Now we are deploying the Royal Champion with the Fox into the heroes. That is interesting choice there. Uh, I wouldn't think like uh, going that way, but we took care of the enemy king. The Electro will still keep going. Now we are sending the Headhunter to help against the enemy queen. Boom, boom, boom with the shield, sniping some of the Teslas. Queen reaching the multi inferno. RC going for the final defenses, guys, and Gloomy Star will be hitting the three star here for Swag. And actually, it will be also a not slow attack at all because we will have 45 seconds to spare. All right, we have Mara, the first attacker for EA. Swag with the OP3 star, a really amazing value of that Super Archer uh, Blim, which set up really nice spotting for his Rude Riders. Let's see how the EA will open. So we are starting with the simple uh, lighting or zap spells there, clearing uh, one of the expos and also taking down the multi Archer Tower, deploying the Royal Champion using the Diggy with RC. Some of the skeletons is being uh, triggered and also pulling spell tower got activated as well with the baby dragon help he's trying to funnel RC also uh, trying to cut some a funnel for that queen because we are aiming to clear the town hall king using the ability that's level 16 giant gauntlet he should be able to uh, get a scatter shot and actually clearing everything on the side as well pulling the CC troops, so we are going against super minions and rocket balloons. Queen popping the ability, town hall will be clear any second. She should be able to take care of these uh, CC troops. King is still alive, we have Phoenix with him, so he should be able to clear a little bit more. Alright, it's time for the Lalo. Skelly spell distracting enemy RC. Three headhunters being sent. How soon we will go with the warden? So far holding on the warden ability. Some of the loot slowly getting close to that multi inferno range. Deploying the nada lava with the nada set of the loons. Tornado trap catching the loons next to the X bow. Alright, there is lava under warden, so gonna actually stay alive a little bit longer. Getting some split with the loons. Nice freeze over the multi inferno. And now he's just blimping over the monolith here. So many loons left. Plus the troops from the uh, blim as well. He still have one freeze. Like, that's no chance of the fail. EA will be hitting beautiful three star as well. I have totally forgot that he haven't used the siege machine. Like, he could swag the blim don't you think i think so he had like more than enough to actually clear the monolith and everything around like he could go with the swag blim maravi op attack both teams with the very strong three stars no i still have roommate which like to cook so that's cool <laughs> that's the other roommate which is living 
Yeah, this one is official EA lineup. Yes, for 2024. Guys, this is what I was saying. So I remember swagging this strategy. Root Riders and Valks. Uh, but this is with the heal spell. When the last time used this strategy with the heal spell, sadly didn't work. Uh, but with the raid spell, they smash it. So I'm very curious that co going here with the heal spell again, how this is gonna make change. Like the local launcher hitting the town hall. We are using a bunch of free spell, trying to freeze as many uh, defenses as possible. Town hall, of course, doing a lot of damage. Plus, we are triggering a uh, triggering lot of giant bomb as well. We already don't have wooden ability, so uh, most of the troops are dying inside the poison and also on, the, on these giant bombs as well. King using the giant gauntlet there, and right now Sally hitting the wall, trying to reach uh, more buildings. Monolith will be clear soon. Icy clearing the bottom side of the base. He still have one freeze. Is he gonna be investing the freeze on Expo on the multi inferno? Still holding on that freeze spell. Uh, Icy still have shield. Queen still has the ability. I think it's gonna work it is uh, kind of a spammy strategy like uh, root riders and the valks uh, it's kind of cool to see valks being used but we could saw how quickly again the valks die and it was all kind of depends on the root riders and the heroes uh, very nicely done by swag and second three star is in look at the time so far one minute 15 seconds to spare wow also very fast attack. How many roommates I have? I have uh, two roommates. Yeah. Hero ya, let's go. Oh, I miss these guys. Hero ya coming in with the super archer blim. Blim got push away. But we still land, oh, kind of, few troops land behind the wall, but he kind of uh, clone uh, super arches closer to the eagle, and fingers crossed we're gonna have enough power to take down the town hall, because town hall is our main target here. Uh, he's using his last invisibility spell, this is gonna be very, very close, town hall being clear, and... If the women, the multi inferno would be lovely, but the poison spell tower got activated as well, so super archers die. Uh, I think that it is good value, especially taking down the town hall, so that's all he needed. And now we're coming in here with the root riders, bringing the electro titan just in case if there are any skellies that Avra is amazing. And uh, let's see if there's gonna be enough to clear the rest of the base. Sadly, he's already using the king ability here. Root riders are kind of split away from the uh, queen. Royal champion now coming in here from this corner. Right, king is reaching the monolith. All right, not for the long time. Reaper only for the king. Headhunters fighting against the enemy king. Queen is still full HP, same story for the Royal Champion. But the Rude Riders are disappearing quickly here. Yeah, final Rude Rider is gone. RC went with the shield. Now RC going against the enemy Royal Champion front of the uh, Ricochet Cannon. I am worried. I am very worried here. We lost the RC. We still have Fox. We still have a Phoenix. Oh, Ripperoni. No Phoenix. That was sticking her mind, and we are down to the queen. She has no unicorn with her, so no one gonna heal her. And there is still few defenses. He only has three super bars on the bar, and we can say this one will be whole. So that means Swag will take the early lead here against EA. We will see how much percentage uh, Hiroya can get at the end. It would be nice to get somewhere close to the 90%. Uh, right now, the queen is on the visit tower. That's enough for the 90%. And Barb sadly have to be the wall, so they're not gonna be able to reach anything else. I just like the abilities. That's actually a really good addition to the game. I like something different, and I think they did it a good way that you cannot really just jam it. You can, but it's very expensive. You actually have to play the game. But I would change one thing. Uh, because I kind of feel uh, sorry for the pro players. 
If they are doing tournaments, they are actually not able to do normal wars, so they are missing wars. I think if uh, Supercell could change that you can do normal wars and friendly wars, that would be like huge help for the pro. Not just for the pro, but I think so for everyone, you know? Alright, Zeros coming with this strategy, which we saw already triple from Swag, Root Riders and Valks. XBB was uh, yesterday watching uh, Klaus attack with the Valks. Maybe you're gonna watch uh, today as well. Uh, you know, Valks looks like they're still alive. Not many people using them, but we have some players trying some crazy strategies here. And it's interesting, I don't know what to think here. Like, we are coming in here with the Root Riders through the uh, top hole, and there's just so much uh, going on. There is like x bows multi-inferno, of course, down hole and explosion. I'm so scared that he's gonna lose all his army there. Wooden ability being used right now, but most of the troops are gone, dead. Not sure what to think if that was correct decision to start with the Root Riders and Valks from the Town Hall side because it feels like we lost almost everything there and now it's gonna be very tough to go through the base. We saw that EA hit decent percent and 90% to start and Zero will have to get somewhere close to make sure the SWAC can still tie or keep the lead against EA. All right, using uh, his last uh, freeze spell here, trying to uh, freeze all these defenses in the core of the base so the RC and the King can grab a few more buildings. Flameflinger about to uh, break here, so we're gonna have what? Another set of the Root Riders. RC is reaching the multi inferno, but the Skell is gonna distract her, so it is Reaper only for the Royal Champion. He's on 83 percentage right now. Queen using the ability, grabbing another building. Actually, the Root Riders with the uh, bar uh, behind still can grab some of the buildings and he gonna get close to the 90. Yeah, I think so that was like a uh, just wrong deployment to start on the town hall. Like there was just so much going on and Rude Riders just like die so quickly. The same story for the Valks. What about Barb? I <laughs> Oh, okay, that bar was alive when I say that. 88 percentage, interesting. Giving EA opportunity to take the lead back, but they have to hit a three star. <laughs> All right, we have Yata. Yata Bowler is live with the Super Bowlers. Opportunity for EA to take the lead because of the hit, Swag losing the percentage if EA hit the three star. They're on 57.60. So that means they would be like two buildings behind. But first of all, are we gonna see the triple from Yata? We are starting here with the Warden Volk and we have to be very patient with the funnel because we need to also kind of funnel this corner here and start with the super bowlers uh siege barrack being deployed interesting uh so he's using like there is we have pekka a big group of the wizard and already pulling the warden super bowlers coming in what cc we going against all right no ice goings we are going against our uh, super minions and a uh, rocket balloons tornado trap wooden ability used front of the town hall super bowlers being protect now we need them to start moving away from the poison sadly we are losing the ice golem let's quickly check how yata is doing with the farming all right abilities are a really a decent level and it's amazing still being able to see the super bowlers al alive sadly losing the healers but RC is still full HP with the Fox of so strong combination and we broke the Valks inside the siege barrack so they are smashing all these uh, buildings around the base. King with the Phoenix clearing the monolith and there is not many dangerous buildings guys. Yata OP, Yata Bowler will be hitting the three star and bringing EA into the lead here. So table have turned and we are tied on the stars but EA will have percentage lead. Eric Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you, thank you very much for the 30 months. Yeah, exactly. Yata will be happy. Thank you, thank you very much, Eric. Like, they are the same time zone like me, but I kind of have also deal with my roommates not really streaming during the evening. 
All right, very, very close match here. Tie on the stars, EA with the two building lead here. Mara using the ring base. Everything is stuck in that co uh, core of the base here. We start with the zappy zap, clearing bunch of the buildings, and he will be using a Lalo. All right. So let's see how much we can get with the hero dive. All right, using bunch of super wall breakers, so opening the layer of the walls for the queen. Night Golem will be tanking for a while. She should be able to clear the multi inferno. King is there as well. There's no way we're gonna get a town hall, right? Oh, queen going around. Never mind. <laughs> All right, queen is sadly going around. And now she's what? Okay, she's going for the... Oh, yeah. I wish she was following the king. That would be lovely. She's kind of just on the cleanup duty. She's not even clearing the defenses, but all this trash, not important buildings. Now she coming out. Back, sorry, and she's now on the ice golem. Luckily, nothing is hitting her, so m maybe she can like stay alive a little bit longer. I was wrong, there is X Bob on her. He was able to bring the town hall. Queen going outside of the base. All right, she's still on the cleanup duty. The Lalo looking scary here because we still have multi inferno. There's few loons, but not gonna be enough to clear the multi inferno. So we still need help from the royal champion. My wrong, okay, we clear that multi inferno. Everything what I say is just not going how I say. <laughs> Okay, Luz are dropping. 1 minute 20 seconds. I see and the Fox. It is still 3 star. Yep, it is still triple. Royal champions still have shield and there's only two defenses left. Tony the Trap and the Skellies. Are you kidding me? Okay, I see still have shields so all good. <laughs> try to go opposite of way Eric because when I say oh there is still barb or something and then he the spring trap so you know it's just the timing when I say the things all right let's go back to us we need to see the three star pressure is on all right we'll be coming in here with the queen charge Lalo he's just blim bombing uh the around the scatter shot using the ray spell on the yetis taking down the scatter grabbing the expo ricochet cannon should be clear yes of course it is clear as well so he clear all compartment here but we sadly didn't pull the cc all right so queen coming from that corner baby dragon keeping the funnel and we will be bringing three super wall breakers jeez let's see all right two just go randomly and now that one should be opening this corner is he gonna open that corner or he gonna be opening the wall front of the multi archer tower all right we got the access to the core of the base he's using the invisibility spell to make sure the queen will be slowly moving towards the multi inferno and of course taking down the town hall healers being a little bit in dangerous situation but we clear the multi inferno pass and ah, fingers crossed we're not gonna pull, pull any red bombs freezing the super minions poisoning all these archers and rocket balloons all right rage on the queen town hall about to be clear still have to fight the super minions all right good good queen charge working we still have a bunch of dangerous uh, defenses on the queen. Uh, Reaper only for the healers. He's not doing anything about them. Uh, there is like uh, two were alive for a few seconds, but the poison got them. Tornado trap being now triggered. There's two ground expo, so totally makes sense. We are going with the Lalo from that side. Ice is front of the monolith. We have Fox with her using, uh, ooh, pulling a bunch of seeking air mines from the uh, monolith. So losing few loons, freezing and raging the couple of the here wooden ability protecting all group of them i see right now invisible very nice use of the free spell hasting this loose again royal champion still helping we have 58 seconds so time is good but we need to clear this final defenses i see with the shell boom 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 sniping even the air defense and achilles will be hitting the triple here for ea oh that is tesla 
uh, on the bottom side. I was like, why this loons going all the way back? Please don't town fail. You cannot town fail. Electro Avo pulling that seeking air mine. Warden and Electro Avo taking down the Tesla. We have still minions which are going for the storage. There's enemy king. Luckily, the enemy king is not full health, so we should be fast enough and able to clear these last three buildings. Yeah, nice job. And that means EA is holding percentage lead. It is a small one. Only two buildings. We will go to the round of final attacks. Final attack from Svak. If they hit a triple, EA has to hit a three star as well. Anything less than triple, EA will need only just save two. They are coming in here with the Queen Charge Root Riders. Powerful strategy. Eric, how are you doing with the abilities? Do you have any max level? Well, I'm gonna keep checking all these players. They, so many of them has already like a bunch of max level abilities. I feel like I'm slacker. Okay, King actually a good job. All, clear everything on that side and also pulling the CC troops. We are coming in here with the super wall breakers. I think so I saw somehow attacking very similar way to kind of going with that big uh, queen charge. She will be fighting guys golem. Uh, so far we have x ball and the enemy warden on her. He got that wall breaker in. Uh, I wish that wall breaker opened like this wall. That would be kind of cool because it's that way he would even co uh, could go for the rude riders. But now we are coming with the root riders here and they will be opening all these walls yeah i think someone did something similar on this and it was like one root rider which opened perfect walls for the queen i just don't know who was it blaming the town hall all right no issues root rider smashing through the base queen already helping there is still monolith up some of the root riders will go for it royal champion still looking strong queen still holding on the healers we have one invisibility just in case if something will go wrong. He's using that invis to protect the queen. Royal champion now reaching the monolith. Time is good, over one minute. Already deploying the cleanup troops and this a final defense is sadly not gonna be able to keep, uh, defend. And we have Svak finishing this match with the 14 stars. So uh, very nicely done by them. They have only one fail, 88%. That means EA has to hit a triple. If Rigo doesn't hit a triple, Swag will take the W. You can buy the uh, mods who didn't pass. About what? I got three new to level 15, but non max. Which one did you go? I think like many people going like uh, of course the giant gauntlet but as well going with the ray gem and healing tom I read my points EA lost what? <laughs> you have no faith in the Rigo no I, I am believer like uh, swag is awesome to me but uh, you know I'm big big supporter of the EA so come on Rigo you got this you're gonna bring the EA to the W okay we're gonna see the Hi Lime, welcome, welcome. Uh, Zor, welcome in, good evening. You think that could is this? I don't remember who was attacking, but I, rem I remember that queen charge going from that side, exactly root riders like that. I think it was also Swag used the same approach versus Navi. Oh, okay, maybe that's why I remember. Come on, there we go. 14 Valks or something? I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be E Dragons. I don't know why. Uh, Vamstash is really good. Is it? I barely see someone using it. You pause your gauntlet at the level 10. <laughs> <laughs> I me too, Marcelo, me too. Definitely has nothing to do that I have no ores. No, it is up Lalo against Gloomy Star. Alright, final attack from EA. Rigo is live. He needs to hit a triple. Anything less than triple, Swag will take the W.
All right, so we're starting with the lighting spells. Now coming in here with the hero dive. All right, let's see what we are planning to clear. So King will go for the eagle. So that's actually nice to get the eagle early. Oh, healer puppet, okay. Healer puppet level, what was this, level nine? Yeah. Oh, rip. And one healer pulling the seeking and my RC clearing the scatter. Boom, boom, boom. Queen taking down the multi inferno. Like, look at the base here. All left side of the base is gone. Even with the zap, we are actually down to the only one multi inferno. Queen trying to fight the CC truce. We are using the invisibility spell. She's going for the clan castle building and not really chasing the super minions. Now she's back on the super minions, taking down one, but not gonna be able to finish the second one. So we still need someone to take care of that super minion we actually trigger the tornado trap which is cool that super minion being distracted by the healer blim being protected by the warden loons big group of the loons moving slowly towards the ricochet cannon but especially towards that multi inferno he also used the free spell and throws the super minion there very nicely done now we have to fight that enemy rc but rigo not just amazing attack but look at the time it was very fast hit as well rigo hitting beautiful three star and ea finishing this match as well with the 14 stars guys we are finishing 14 to 14 ea winning on the two building lead what amazing job by both teams big shout out to them and congratulations to you ea they are taking the w you guys were watching fire clash league group stage week four